Good morning there, Mission Control. Well, today uh, we're going to continue on uh, the rebuilding that we're doing. Uh, we're going to move away from just doing lane three now, and we're actually going to be working on the kick plates that go on all the lanes. So I'm hoping to get that all done today. Um, I'm supposed to get a delivery from Home Depot today as well. Uh, Rocket Ship Depot, Rocket Ship Home Depot, Spaceship Home Depot, Spaceship Depot, Spaceship Depot. <laughs> I like that one. Anyway, uh, Home Depot is supposed to bring a delivery today of all the wood that we need. Uh, to build the remaining six uh, grow beds. We'll see if that happens. Uh, we'll do a video on building those and getting those all put. I'm very excited to get it uh, all put together. I'm actually hoping that if it shows up today, I could get all the grow beds built this weekend, and then Monday through Friday next week, I'll be able to actually load all those grow beds uh, with rock, and maybe by next weekend, uh, just one week away, we'd actually have all grow beds in, uh, and then I can start working on bringing all the aquaponic water uh, to each of those beds, uh, the fish water, I should say, to each of those beds. So the PEX tubing, getting that all put together. After I get that done, uh, we need to bring automation to the control valves so each of the beds uh, can cycle. And gee whiz, after that, we're kind of done with uh, the aquaponic, the relay out. So that's very exciting. Like within two weeks, um, Mrs. Marsh and I were sitting having coffee this morning. And within two weeks, we could actually have this particular phase done. So that's very cool. Uh, so after we get done with uh, the kick plates, the grow beds, filling them, and getting the valve control put in for each of them, then we're on to insulation, and we're on to heating. And then we actually have the microgreen shelves. We'll be showing up in September. They're all custom ordered. Uh, so they'll be here. And once the shelves show up, they'll go up very easy. Uh, and we'll have germination shells, and then we'll have the microgreen shells, and then we'll actually have to install the lighting uh, below the germination shelves so that we can have lettuce and basil and all these other things growing in the aquaponic system. It should be a lot of life here come September. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to see how it all comes together. Um, we're also looking for a distributor, so if any of you out there work in the industry or know someone who works in the industry uh, here in the northwest the columbia river gorge in particular the portland uh, metro area uh, we're really looking for a distributor to be able to take the microgreens because we can produce a lot now uh, upwards of along 300 uh, almost 400 pounds per week is what this building will be able to put up with once we get all the shelving and everything in so very exciting if you do know someone and you can hook us up we're looking for that distribution. We need everybody's help there. That's the big thing that will get us over the hump. Uh, anyway, so there's a quick little update, you know, kind of just uh, how things are going. It's a beautiful day. Uh, a little bit of smoke on the air today. Uh, we got a wildfire over uh, to the west there. Uh, they got a helicopter unit out there helping them out and uh, a ground crew and engine over there. So all of our prayers with you guys. Uh, for the firefighters, please be safe. God protect them. And uh, please, uh, God protect all the homes that are out there uh, that they're helping protect. So uh, prayers are with all of them. We'll keep an eye on that. The prevailing winds are headed north right now. They're not headed east. Uh, so we're pretty good here, but uh, lots of people live over in that area. So we're, our prayers are with you guys. So uh, yeah, beautiful day with the exception of that wildfire. And we got some work to do here. How about, ooh, pretty butterfly. Squirrel, butterfly. Won't see those on Mars. If you did, you'd probably freak out. You'd be like a mutant butterfly or something. Anyway, uh, let me walk you inside, show you what we're going to do with the kick plates. All right, so uh, you can look, look over here. You can see the rock along the bottom of the lane. And we put all that rock there for two reasons. One, uh, to help keep the uh, pond liner secure in its spot. And two, so that you can't really kick all the loose rock that we walk on uh, into the uh, fish tank. And we've had mild success with those rocks and everything. So we're actually going to be replacing it with a kick plate because you can actually kick these rocks in here. You can just kick it dunk, like that accidentally when you're walking up to the grow bed. So uh, over here now, I got one put in. So we're just going to be running pressure treated 2x6s right along the top of the railroad ties. Now those railroad ties are all even. And what that's creating is just a little bit just a little bit of a gap there. And that gap gets bigger as we go down. Here you can kind of see it. These are all just set in place, but you can see the gap starting to get bigger. And that's just due to the ground not being fully level. So what our plan is, is to take the big rocks here, 
put them up against these gaps, and then we're going to get more gravel and bring that right up into it. That's the game plan. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, each of these beds is 12 feet apart, and each of these uh, pieces of lumber is roughly 12 feet apart. So what I'm doing is I've just got some L brackets here, also from Home Depot, and I'm be mounting them into the back uh, onto the railroad ties, and then right to the 2x4, and then I pinch the 2x4 in between the actual lane itself. It makes it nice and tight, nice and hard, and uh, should hold it all into place. This is the funniest and most awkward part. Oh, yeah. Okay, one end done. Okay, well, I got the first uh, side on. This is lane one. So I got to do two sides on lane two, lane three, and then another single side on lane four. Huh. But they're turning out pretty nice. The boards are a little wavy because they're so long, but I don't think there's really much you could do about that. Uh, we'll get the rock put up against these like so, and then we're going to get more gravel, and we'll bring the gravel in and bring that right up to here. Uh, really make it look pretty nice in here, I think. Uh, and you have a nice kickboard here, so you shouldn't be able to kick anything into the fish tank anymore. Uh, so I'm going to fast forward you through the rest of these, and it's going to take me a few hours to get them all done. But hey, that's the power and beauty of YouTube. If only it would work that way in the real world. Maybe a lot faster. I could get more stuff done that way. All right, well, it's been a few hours. These things go a lot slower than I had hoped. You gotta get the ground level every now and then. They're a little wonky. So I got that all fixed and got uh, inside of lane one, both sides of lane two, and now I'm headed over to lane three where I gotta do both sides and then the inside of lane four. So halfway done. Okay, I'm dying today. About 97 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And uh, I've been going for quite a few hours and I'm already worn down. So. A little tough today, but I'm getting through. I just got lane threes inside uh, wood uh, kick plate put up. Let me show you that. There we go. So all in all, it's turning out pretty nice. I got the. Uh, outside of lane three to do, and then the inside of lane four to do. Let's keep going. So this is kind of cool. The fish uh, in lane four, they kind of know that if a human is around, they get fed, and the water's nice and clear. So let's see if we can't get a good shot for you. Well, that time they're all scared.
There's one right there. See him? All right, well, I just got done getting the gravel. Oh, I missed a spot. Raking the gravel onto uh, lane four. So we got all the boards on lane four, and now I just need to get rocks on the end where the uh, uh, pond liner comes out just to hold those all down and make it look good. So let's get that done, and then we're gonna go jump in the pool. It's hot, I'm tired, I'm sore. <sighs> I need a beer. Well, we got our first part of this job done today. We got all the kick plates in. Uh, let me walk you around and show you those. One, got the end all built up. Kick plates in, there's lane two. Kick plates are in. These rocks are here because the floor kind of dips down like that. So you gotta have the rocks there so you can actually um, keep the little rocks from going in because there's a big gap there. There's that. It turned out real nice. Do a big reverse here. There you go. That turned out really nice. And here's the end. We got that all nice and pretty. And then flying over to lane three. You can see we got it all done. We got its end all tidied up. Got rocks on lane four. And then we got the walkway all built here. Oh no, it turned out pretty nice. I'm very happy with it. We need to get some more rock in here, but that might be a next year type of thing. Not a huge priority that we do that this year. This is pretty nice. So, uh, wow, I am really tired. <laughs> anyway. Hey, thanks for watching along. Really appreciate you guys watching and uh, all the support you've been giving us. Thank you very much for that. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Uh, for some reason, every time I post a new video, I lose like 20 subscribers just immediately. And uh, so I'm curious to know people's feedback. You know, are the are the videos boring or uh, is there a glitch? Are people really, really happy with it and there's something else going on? Um, yes, are people just like me to do better on videos, so please give me some feedback there. In the meantime, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. This is Real Martian, out.